This video is going to illustrate how to use the query function in Google Sheets when you have date range criteria. So you can see here we have a data set of loan detail information. The last column here we have a disbursement date. And what we'd like to do is run a query for only the loans that were dispersed from August 1st of 19 until January 31st of 2020. So the first thing we want to do is insert a new tab where our query function and its results will live. So I'm going to come down to this plus symbol here, click on it to add a new tab. I'm going to rename this tab results. Up near the top, we're going to insert our query function. So the first input is the data input. That's the data set we want to query on. Well, that is our loan detail information back on the first tab. So I'm going to go back to the first tab. I'm going to click in this top left cell here. I'm going to hit control shift right arrow and then control shift down arrow. That will select the entire data set. I'm going to hit F4 to lock that down. Now this data set is fixed. The second argument is the query argument where we actually input keywords and parameters of what we'd like to pull back in our query. Now when you're hard coding this like we are now within the query function, it needs to be enclosed in double quotes. So I'm going to begin with a quotation followed by the keyword select. For now, I'm going to input select star because what that will do is it will pull back this entire data set on the results tab. It means select everything. Once we've input this entire function, we'll go back in to the query and specify some date parameters. So the last input is the headers input. That's where you specify how many headers you have in your data set. Usually this will just be one. So I'll hit enter and you can see on our results tab this pulls back our entire data set. Why? Because we said select star, select everything. So now we want to perform a query based on the date range we talked about earlier. So you can see our disbursement date is in column I. So we're going to go back into our query function by hitting F2. After the select star statement, I'm going to add the keyword where. Where is where you will actually refer to your criteria, what you want to pull back. Well, our criteria column is column I, so we're going to reference our column letter. So when you refer to a column in your query statement, you must refer to the column letter and it must be capitalized. So we want anything in column I that is greater than or equal to the begin date of our date range. Before we input our date value after the arithmetic operator, we need to insert the keyword date and then input our date value which has to be enclosed in single quotes and the format of the date value you input needs to be in four digit year two digit month two digit day so we have the front end of our date range now we're going to insert the keyword and and refer to our column reference again. This time we want anything in column I that is less than or equal to the end date of our date range. But remember to insert the keyword date before the end date. So now you can see we have query results that are based on only loans that were dispersed during our date range. Now if we wanted to sort this disbursement date column for our query results, we could go back into our query, 
after our criteria, you can type the keywords order by and then reference our column we want to order by. By default, it will sort oldest to newest. So I'll hit enter and you can see it sorts it from oldest disbursement date to the newest. If we wanted to reverse that and sort by newest to oldest, we would simply add the letters DESC, which is short for descending at the end of our order by clause. And now it sorts it from newest to oldest. Another thing you can do with the query function, which I strongly recommend is rather than have to type in your query parameters within the query function itself, um, you can actually paste your second argument into a cell above your query results and then refer to that cell. It's in cell A1, so we just type the cell reference in our query argument and you can see nothing changes there. So if I want to change the begin date of our date range to November, you can see our query results adjust accordingly. I prefer this latter method because it's just easier to make changes or add on to your query argument or parameters. So I strongly recommend you do this as well. So that is just how you can perform a query function with date range criteria in Google Sheets. Hey, if you like what you saw today, please subscribe to the Excel Cave. Thanks for watching.